The paper airplane. It's probably a toy that everyone's made in their lifetime at least once. But today I asked the question, can you 3D print something that you can throw and fly? Well, let's find out. I'm Eric with Try Not To Break Anything, and today we're gonna 3D print a glider. So, we can't just make this a real easy task. Let's put down some ground rules first before we begin. Number one, it's gotta be something easy to assemble. We're talking about no extra parts, no screws, things like that. Something that can, you know, a child could essentially print or put together. It's gotta be something that's made out of PLA. No carbon fiber, ABS, or anything like that. It's gotta be a material that everyone has. The final rule we're gonna impose on ourselves is that it's gotta be something that glides. All right, so let's get into it. I hopped into Fusion 360 and I started designing the paper airplane I wanted to go with. I went with a classic design. The triangle with the little stem at the bottom so you can go ahead and throw it. Once I designed it, I went ahead and exported it into an STL file and sent it to my slicer for printing. Once it was sliced, I went ahead and printed it. And with my first prototype finished, let's go ahead and give it a test. Well, for round two, I went with the classic balsa wood plane design. Once it was all designed up, I threw it in my 3D printer. And with my second prototype finished, I say we go ahead and give it a little test flight. I don't care how wobbly you are, you look amazing. Whatever was stupid. So I hopped back on Fusion 360 and decided to reinforce the fuselage. Or is it pronounced fuselage? I'm not really sure. Anyways, I printed it on my 3D printer and here's how it came out. It was at this point, guys, that the doubt really started to sink in and I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to finish this little challenge thing that I created, but then this happened. Oh my god, that's actually going to fly. Alright, we're not flying yet, but we're getting pretty close. So I went back into Fusion 360 and made some modifications, adding more weight to the front and more support to the fuselage. And with my design complete, I went ahead and sliced it up and sent it to the 3D printer. Although the design of this particular prototype is very similar to the two other ones you saw, the feel and the weight of this one just feels so much better. I have a feeling this is going to be the one that's going to fly. That's a fly. That's a fly, baby. That's a glide. That's gliding. Well, that's the one. She ain't much, but she's the one. And let me tell you why. It really hit, in my opinion, all the three goals I was trying to accomplish. First of all, it was easy to assemble. It was one printed piece, anyone can do it. And, of course, it was made of PLA only. That was one of the things I thought was important for this challenge. And lastly, and it gets a baby check mark, because it was gliding at the end of the day, but I'm sure there'll be somebody in the comment section saying otherwise. Listen, if you like what you saw, please give this video a like and share it with your friends. And of course, subscribe to all my channels. And if you made it this far into the video, Thank you so much for watching.